Um, uh, all right. Um, good afternoon, or almost good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Ahmad Hefnawi. I'm uh, working here in the Ministry of uh, IT. I'm a uh, uh, policy uh, section head. And um, actually, when I was informed about this session, it was a bit uh, challenging for me, especially having uh, Dr. Elias before me, because you know the uh, intersection between Internet of Things, smart cities, and many other uh, uh, you know uh, terminologies like uh, cyber physical systems and so on are like huge. So, uh, um, Internet of Things actually applications are very much uh, uh, relevant to smart cities applications and so on. So um, uh, excuse me if I decided before the session that this session is going to be as interactive as possible so that we can share ideas together and uh, uh, think loudly and share uh, ideas. Since uh, I think Dr. Labib, uh, Dr. Um, Elias already made very good introduction about Internet of Things, which is very relevant to uh, uh, smart cities. So uh, normally, before we start, we need to agree what is uh, a small city. So um, I, I think if we uh, like uh, ask each other what is smart alone, okay, we might have different uh, understanding. And what is city as well? Uh, we can have different understanding. So any volunteer as a user or uh, innovator or whatever, how do you think about a smart city? What is a smart city for you? Okay, the first idea that uh, can come to your uh, mind. So Volunteer. Like the city is connected to the internet. So connectivity. Yes. Okay. Least amount of human uh, dependency. Okay. Dallas, we rated number 41. We have work to do in terms of rating for smart cities. All right. Quality of life. Something that balances demand and supply of you know, things like mobility, uh, availability of transport, uh, you know. Demand and supply, yeah. These are actually the, the, the key words. So uh, let's uh, have a look at how others uh, think about it, okay? So if I go to uh, maybe MMUP, okay, the uh, city municipality, okay, they'll uh, look at it from very strategic point of view. These how to run utilities and how to operate the city and so on. Okay, so these their priority. It is about priorities. Okay, but their priority is the operation of the city. Uh, if you go to you know uh, real estate developers and so on, they will think about smart homes. Okay, and their applications. If you will speak to uh, transportation people, okay, okay forget all other things where it is just about okay transportation traffic the uh, main problem of every uh, uh, major uh, city in the world now okay and if you speak to you know Qatar 2022 they'll think about the World Cup a big event and we need a wonderful uh, experience for uh, fan and so on okay and maybe some other people will think about everything together, okay, but then the, the problem that Dr. Elias raised is interoperability, okay, how can we have, you know, all these systems run together in a uh, seamless way or uh, uh, whatever. Uh, these are the different uh, uh, visions about uh, uh, smart cities, okay, and just to uh, share with you some of the information I just got to know, okay, that Many uh, standard, uh, standardization organization is still working on that. Even uh, like NIST, which is a, a, a standard institute in, in the USA, okay, they are still working on their architecture and framework for what they call cyber physical systems, which is almost equivalent to Internet of Things, okay. Uh, uh, in the U uh, Europe, they just published uh, some framework for Internet of Things, but still the work uh, uh, are going on. And they also developed a framework for uh, smart cities. Uh, IEEE, which is a, a very famous institute for engineers, electronic and uh, electrical, okay, uh, they have some working group called PS 
two, three, one, four, something like this, okay? So if, if you speak to uh, the uh, standards people, okay, they'll uh, show you something like this, these small city, okay? I'll not, uh, uh, don't worry, I'll not take much, because this can take like the whole night to explain, but the, very simple, okay? Smart cities is a framework. We have internet of things at the bottom. So these are the uh, information source. And then at the same time, we have another information thing that will consume this information. So internet of things can be considered one of the data sources, social media, Twitter, Facebook, and so on. And the city information itself is one of the data sources, okay? After some processing here, it will go back, okay, to Internet of Things actuators. So some instruction or command will go to, uh, you know, traffic signal or sign, whatever, to take certain action. And maybe the uh, uh, city will just disseminate message through uh, Twitter or whatever that please don't take this road, take the other road. So these social media, how it, uh, it uh, consumes uh, information and also how to uh, you know, update the uh, city information. So in the uh, middle, same, uh, data analytics, decision making, knowledge uh, uh, base, and you know, uh, they test the reliability of information and so on. So very simply, these all about, uh, uh, or these are proposed by one of the EU uh, standards uh, uh, projects. Let's look at the definition by Wikipedia, okay? I'll just give you three, four seconds to uh, go through it uh, very quickly. <coughs> I just captured two, three uh, keywords here. Digital technologies, so it is about digital, to enhance performance and to reduce cost. So it is about digital enhancement and efficiency. Last but not least, to engage. So these are the keywords that uh, most of you already shared, okay? The ITU, the International Telecommunication Union, okay? Again, 10 seconds because this is a bit longer. So the keywords here, we have uh, one new uh, keyword, which is sustainability. And uh, the ITU is uh, stressing very much on this concept, okay? How to respect uh, uh, the future generations uh, right and so on. And the other keyword here, which is new uh, from uh, uh, Wikipedia, which is innovation. Whatever technology we have, if we don't have the innovative uh, application, okay, it will not uh, like sound to the public and so on. Again, uh, uh, improve quality of life, efficiency of ur uh, urban uh, operation, and so on. The British Standards Institute, okay. The key word here is to leverage data. It is all about that. And here, the, the uh, Labib application can be a very good example. Uh, the last one here is uh, Arup, which, uh, which is very uh, famous uh, consulting firm working on this subject. Okay. So here the, the key word in my opinion, uh, you know, the different verticals, the silos, uh, electricity, water, uh, city operation, and so on. Okay. We, we need some sort of seamless exchange of information between these kind of structures. Okay in a clear, simple, and uh, responsive way. Uh, <coughs> a few months back, we held a round uh, table here in ICT Qatar, where we invited all stakeholders from uh, the city of Doha. So I'm just going to share with you some uh, ideas that uh, our stakeholders uh, shared with us. Okay, how they see uh, smart cities in, in Qatar. So our stakeholder, uh, uh, See, uh, smart cities development can foster new services. So there is a very good potential for smart cities in, in Doha. And it can create jobs. At the same time, this will improve uh, uh, resource allocation, usage, innovation, uh, entrepreneur, and uh, uh, you know, this will benefit the whole 
uh, economy of the country. Uh, also, uh, they have highlighted you know, the need for uh, the country vision. And this is very important. Uh, as you know, uh, each country in the world and each city uh, particularly will have their own vision. If we'll, you will speak to a Stockholm you know, uh, city, they'll have you know, green uh, principles as a priority for themselves. Uh, however, if uh, maybe last year or two years ago before the uh, World Cup in uh, Brazil, if you will speak to uh, Rio de Janeiro or whatever, they have the operation of the uh, Olympics and uh, because they, they are hosting the Olympics as well, I think, uh, in a couple of years or whatever. So the operation of the city during these kind of mega events are uh, priority for them. Other cities, they will have traffic and so on. So it is very important to uh, uh, decide the vision of Doha, okay? and to set some uh, frameworks to ensure the interoperability between different uh, sectors. Uh, these are the elements our stakeholders uh, identify. Urban planning, energy and environment, security. So they are very uh, common and well known almost all over the world, but I'll give you like uh, uh, 10 seconds or whatever to look at these, what our stakeholders uh, like uh, shared with us. So this is very relevant to the uh, city of Doha. On the other hand, they also shared some uh, challenges or area that we need to work on. Uh, I think one of our uh, uh, colleagues here uh, highlighted security. So cyber security is one of the uh, top. Um, and we had as well privacy. Open data, we already uh, issued the policy for uh, open data uh, in a month. Uh, so from policy perspective, we are ready, OK? But uh, we are still waiting for uh, other government entities to open up their uh, data. Uh, cloud computing, broadband connectivity, we already have the uh, national broadband plan and data management. It is still in the consultation phase, but it is almost uh, ready. How can innovation uh, solve city problems? I'll just share one example, and thanks to our uh, uh, colleague, the gentleman who already highlighted this as one of the examples, which is Uper. Okay, what they did, uh, uh, believe me or not, very simple idea. Okay, there is some people who would like to be drivers or to drive through uh, Uper. Some other people need someone to uh, you know drop them or whatever. What they did, they just connected. Okay, the uh, demand and the supply sides together uh, through this uh, uh, interface using uh, uh, their locations and so on. So it is very simple. So the, the, the idea here about the smart cities, in my opinion, is the innovative idea. It is actually the, uh, your role, your role to come up with uh, customized ideas for our uh, city in the uh, uh, state of Qatar to find out what the people need, okay, what technology can provide, and just to link them together. Uh, I hope that uh, you will help us to uh, reach this uh, as soon as possible. So uh, I just finished by that. Uh, thank you very much, and I'm ready for uh, any uh, questions.